Hey guys, this is Arjun Sondi. Hope you're doing well. And let's start with the example I ended up with last time. I asked you to do uh, where if price of good 2 goes down, how might you change your budget constraint? So I'm sure a lot of you picked different numbers. I'm just going to pick one. Let's say the price of good 2 goes from 10 to 2. All right, again, the graph is not drawn to scale, so bear with me there. If the price of good 2 goes down to 2, again, this number remains the same because 20 divided by 5 has not changed, but the amount of good 2 you can buy now has gone up from you being able to only afford 2 of them to now you can buy 10 of good 2 if you buy nothing but good 2. So this line is going to move outward. This is going to be one point, and again, this is 10, so it's not drawn to scale, but that's fine. So your budget constraint is going to move out. So the in summary, when looking at these three variables, if income goes up, the line moves outward in a parallel fashion. If income goes down, the line moves left in a parallel fashion. If price of good one goes up, this line pivots inward like we did last time. And if price of one goes down, this line pivots outward on the x axis. So that's, if you forgot, go look at the previous video. Price of good two, when that goes down, this line pivots outward on the vertical axis. And if price of good two were to go up, then this line would pivot inward in that fashion. So those are all the six possibilities, increasing, decreasing for all these three, and you looking at how your options for the budget constraint changes. Now one more thing uh, before I summarize this topic, P1, if you think about P1 over P2, this does not change when income goes up or goes down. Again, ref uh, refer to the previous video if you forgot. But when prices change, either P1 or P2, the, 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 the slope of this line is going to change as well. So when, let's just pick one example. Let's pick the one where I asked you to do it. Uh, when price 2 goes down, which means the denominator goes down, therefore, the numerator is going to go up. Right? If the denominator becomes a smaller number, the fraction is going to become larger. So let's just go back to that example. And if you look at the slope of this line, that's going to be reflected in that as well. All right, so that's just to get an idea of how the slope changes uh, when, when relative prices change is, is very important. All right, so that, that's going to conclude this part of chapter two, which is looking at the budget side of consumers. So just to summarize a few important things you should, you should remember. Uh, what does budget line mean? What is the equation of the budget line, which is price one times x1 plus price two times x2 should be less than or equal to your income. And then we look at the slope of the line and we do some comparative statics, which is how your optimal, not optimal, how your options change when these lines move based on those three factors. All right, so we will start that next class and make sure you review the budget side before we do that. Thanks and see you next time.